Hello everyone, I'm your host Boss Zombie. Welcome back to Until Dawn. Hey. So, how many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. Well, how do so you kill only it? there's only one. They don't like fire. Oh, I don't no, like one. fire. They fear it. And it can kill them. If you have to. See, their skin is like... It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. It's gross. No shit, it's gross. Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or... I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? It's a lot of blood. Well, they adhere to some patterns. Like any animal. Oh, I already know. Or human. Well, you mean, like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. The, uh... Pro Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something? Oh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that. They can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changes of movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. There's a lot of blood. If these things, Wendigos, are or, or were human, do they, do they still have some aspect of humanity in them? Well, they retain certain things. I mean, is it really right to kill them? <laughs> Maybe they could be cured or... or... <laughs> they surrender human rights the moment they eat one another. There's no cure, there's no redemption. I, I, I mean, if they're still human, I don't know... Well, he tried to gone. defend We're himself with a. Quiet. Sure. We gotta go. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He could still be out there. <laughs> First, the wind go. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body. you alive and aware and feasts on your organs one piece at a time. How many of these things are done? Yeah. Let's go now. It might still be near. You should put your cool mask back on. Oh, this is that saw room. Ah, forget it. Oh, jeez. Probably shouldn't be uh, wasting time. All right, let's go, Captain Badass. Wait, no more. Be very quiet. Why? Oh, that's why. Run! Go now! Now! Oh, he's dead. Wow. Took it right off. Oh, shit. They look 
my golem a little? Lord of the Rings. Ooh, nice roll. It has the butterfly tattoo. That's Hannah. I saw the tattoo oh on its God. shoulder. That's oh Hannah. God. It took you so long. It's not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. So Chris, she tried to survive by eating guy? Beth. Uh, yeah, and he, she turned uh, into a Wendigo. He didn't make it? No. What happened? The thing, it uh, tore him apart. Right in front of me. All right. These are all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. M. What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And what is all that? So uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? You've been a cave-in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh, my God. Some of them survived, but, like, 15 of them didn't make it. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some, like, big cover-up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. And I'm not sure what it means, but I found this chair. Dried blood all over the place, like somebody had been tortured. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Um. Um, what is... Huh? What is that? Ash. Um, oh my god, oh my god, it's, oh it's my nothing. god. It's oh nothing. No, it just oh no, it, it bit no, me and it bit you. What bit you? The the Wendigo. The what? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Where's Chris? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's it's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you. I I know what you're thinking and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. I don't think he said it, it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Is that how it works? Yes. No, you she would have to you. eat. You're going to turn into one, and then you're going to turn on us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're all idiots. <sighs> you can't be down here with us. What? Mike. You got to go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am. Emily, 
You can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do. And I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? Door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh, no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my God, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Jesus, Ash. Whoa, okay. Whoa, 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 Mike, calm down. You're... you're gonna shoot me? Mike, me? This is the safe room, M. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. Don't, don't do that! I'm really sorry. I'm not gonna shoot her. I am number one. Fuck, I can't do this. Oh, you did the right thing. I hope you did. Maybe. For now. Shit. Fuck, fuck. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird, so he's doing that weird you guys know what to do. Again. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. That, that he was gonna help us. With a flamethrower, dude? Now we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've gotta be tough. We've gotta do this on our own. I don't know if I can. What are you doing, Ashley? Ooh. Only this guy's a little OCD. Only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. I am the only man who has ever kept them under control. Heed these words, or it shall be your death, and your death will not be the last. The Wendigo must be contained. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism. When a human is desperate and craves food, trapped in the mountain in the fierce winter storms, when he has not eaten nothing for many days, when he's eaten nothing for many days, the Wendigo spirit will begin to possess him. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse, often those companions who have traveled with him, who will eat the raw flesh the flesh raw from his, the corpses. I've seen this happen many years ago, a craving for flesh that cannot be sated. And then change begins. The eyes turn white and become milky and white. The eyes turn first and become milky and white. Then the teeth become longer like fangs. The creature grows and the skin is pulled taut across the bones. There was a tribe that lived in the, these mountains, the Cree. Their shamans tell stories of the tall creature born in ice. The tribe respected There's the mountain. There's a lot of history to this. I'm trying to read. The tribe respected the mountain and all the animals that, which lived on it. The mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred also. The Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain and would hunt elsewhere. In 1893, the miners arrived. They found tin and later traces of radium. Really? They mined deep into the sacred mountain. The Cree say that the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. The Wendigo's eyes change. They become both sharper and more dim. The Wendigo sees movement. It is a hunter like a hawk, but cannot see... This says that because the Wendigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. What does that mean? Uh, if you are... If you are to keep still, then the Wendigo will not be able to see you. The skin and flesh of the Wendigo are hard like armor. They seem to not they seem to feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stabbed. Bullets will not pierce their skin, though a shotgun will keep them at bay. Because the Wendigo is mutated from a human, it knows how to hunt us. It can perfectly mimic its prey. You must remain sharp and disciplined. I have killed six Wendigos. Knives or bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower. It is the best weapon. Fire envelops them, burns away their skin, and makes them weak. But try not to kill them. Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. I've contained them. I've used traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. 
The traps were baited with human limbs from those who had no further use for them. One by one, I caught those who infested the mountain. There may be defenses. Shamans wrote of rituals. I found native artifacts on the mountains and copied them. Totems, bunches of herbs and feathers. I copied their design. I've tested them. Out on the mountain, they work. They keep the Wendigo at bay. Not entirely, but enough. But inside buildings, they do not work. Cree legends say that the Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo. But the bite is harmless. I have been bitten, but did not change. Ah, see, there's a key. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. Um, oh, no, 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 what? no, no. What is it? What does it say? Reassure. It says that the bites, it, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see uh, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Um, it says you'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine? Michael almost shot me, is that he fine? Didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair. She was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's None of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse for this. Please, just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. Ooh. I'm sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Shit. Let M. Oh, hey. Shit, shit, shit. Gotta get to Mike. Like now. Why do we have to get to Mike? Why do we have to get to Mike? <laughs> Chris. Chris, you don't look good, dude. Oh, oh, Joshua. You should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. Have they? I don't oh. know which is worse actively yeah. triggering events that lead to someone's death. Or passively allowing a tragedy to occur because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. <laughs> Remember last year, huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help. Paralyzed by your own self centered fear while a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. Always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Huh? Joshua, why did you hurt them? I mean, technically he didn't hurt anyone. Oh, but of course you did. They were your friends, you misled them, you lied to them, and you put them through a night of genuine horror. Let's hope that it's not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from something even worse than death itself. Oh my god, guys, thank god! What took you so long? It's not so good up there right now. No, oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. Uh, yeah, he, uh... Wait! No more. Holy shit! What the... Ah! What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's gotta have it. And what is all that? It may have taken him down to the mine. I was down there. It was horrible. There'd been a cave-in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Um, what is that? Huh? 
This is the safe room, M. Please. Fuck, I can't do this. Oh, you did the right thing. Keep an eye on her. I'll be back soon. Oop. Wow, we're already in chapter nine, huh? I wonder if I should lock that. Actually, hmm, too late now. Oh, new chapter. Move my butterfly effects. Wow, Mike, you are not honest in the slightest. Hmm. Missing a lot. Oh, right. Nineteen fifty-two. So this was the cannibal stuff. Oh, that's a Wendigo head. Oh, this was Josh's mystery stuff. Totems still missing these. Oh, uh, Emily has no defense against the attack from Bitten. Mike faced the dilemma. Oh, so if I had let her keep the flare gun, she wouldn't have been bitten. As she opened the door, saving Chris's life. Emily was bitten. Mike spared Emily. Ashley was faced the dilemma and told the truth. Okay. Ooh. Oh, wait. Am I going to meet up with Wolfriend again? Left seems to be the oh, no, never mind. Little friend? Are you here? Anywhere? I guess I must be getting near the end of the game. Cause it seems like there's like an hour per chapter and there's like one hour left. Or I guess chapter ten will be the last chapter. Two wolves, weren't there? Hmm. Oh, you know what? Actually, I think that's enough for now. So, thanks for joining me. Come back on the next stuff up real soon. But until then, bye.